All right, so here's the second video I'm doing on absolute max and min. So here's the guidelines to find the extrema for a continuous function f on a closed interval a, b. We use these steps. First, we find the critical numbers of f that are in a, b. Then we evaluate each critical number in a, b. So if the critical number is in the interval, then we evaluate it. And then we evaluate the function at each endpoint. And the least of these values is the minimum. The greatest is the maximum. All right, so let's look at the second example. So find the absolute extrema of the function over the indicated interval. So we have to find the critical numbers. So to find the critical numbers, we have to find the first derivative. So that's going to be 3x squared minus 12. And then we set this equal to 0. So 3x squared minus 12 equals 0. That's going to give us x squared equals 4. So x is equal to 2 or x equal negative 2. We get plus or minus 2. All right. So now we evaluate the critical numbers. Okay, we have to plug the critical numbers back into our original function. But if you look at this, we're not going to use this one because negative 2 does not fall into this interval. Only the 2. So that's the only one we're going to use. All right. So we have f of 2 is equal to 2 cubed minus 12 times 2, and that is going to give us, let's see, that's 8 minus 24, that is negative 16. Okay, so we, that takes care of the critical numbers. Now, the endpoints of the interval, we have to evaluate in the function, so f of 0, that's 0 cubed minus 12 times 0 is 0, and then the 4 f of 4 is equal to 4 cubed minus 12 times 4 and that is going to give us uh, 4 cubed that's 64 minus 48 that gives us positive 16 so you can see the lo the largest value is our absolute maximum and the minimum value is our absolute minimum. So we have an absolute maximum at x equal 4. Okay, And the y value would be when you plug 4 into the original function. Well, we've already done that. So that would be 16. And then we have an absolute minimum at x equal Two and our y value, see we've already plugged the 2 into the original function, and that would be negative 16. All right, so hopefully this video helped. Uh, watch the other ones I have. They're going to be a little bit different. Uh, all right, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks.